video, we're going to be talking about my July budget with me. But before we get into July's budget, let's take a look at my June budget and then just kind of see was I able to make any of my goals for June. So in the month of June, I was telling you guys, one, I was pretty much right at budget, especially with those factor 75 meals. And I was just like, okay, am I going to save money or am I going to pay on my student loans? Well, y'all, I did not pay on my student loans this month, but I was able to save about $600. So that takes me up to about $6,600 saved as of 17. I'm really trying to figure out, okay, for the rest of the year, because I'm just like, whoa, I cannot believe it's already July and we only have a few months left, like what, five months left, five and a half months left. And so I'm just like, you know, what do I really want my savings goal to be for the year? So we're going to take a look at that. But also, <laughs> am I going to need a factor 75 meals? So we're going to take a look at that too. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about how to get your money straight, how to increase your credit score, and how to use your credit card like a debit card. So for the month of July, I have already decided that I'm not going to be doing the Factor 75 meals, at least for the first two or maybe three weeks. I've already skipped those. <laughs> and y'all, I finally went to the grocery store this week. And I'm just like, I have not been to the grocery store because I've been doing the Factor 75 meals since March. And I'm already just like, I don't know. I might need to start doing the meals again. But I'm just like, I feel like I would probably be able to save a little bit more money by not um, getting the Factor 75 meals. So I don't know. We're going to see. But we're going to go over to my iPad. And I'm going to be using my 2022 Digital Budget Planner. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you can always go over to my Etsy shop and you can get it from there. But if not, you can always drop down in the description and get my free budget and debt repayment template. That way we can do our budgets together and hold each other accountable. So let's go ahead over to my iPad and take a look at the budget. So we're gonna come over here to my digital budget planner. And now we're gonna look under sources. And under this tab, you can put up to four different sources of your income. This could be your salary, side hustle. Next, I'm gonna put for July. And my income that I'm gonna be bringing in is $3,456. And so next, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put in all of the expenses for the month of July. So I'm just gonna start with my mortgage and I'm just gonna put all of my different expenses for the month of July. And some of these bills, like my Comcast, I have them automatically withdrawn out of my credit card, actually. And so I really like that. That way I don't have to think about it. And then as many of the bills as I can, I will pay for my credit card. And some of the others, like my mortgage, I do my bill pay. And I even think for my NES, I did my bill pay while sometimes I will do use my credit card, but you know, sometimes there is a charge for that. Next for my credit card, the credit card expenses, this can be for like my website, Canva and other things. So this is just some monthly expenses. With the subscriptions, this is gonna be my YouTube premium my Apple Music, and some other things. And then next, I have the other, and this is gonna be for me, I'm gonna be going to get my hair done, and then I'm gonna be getting a facial. So these are some other expenses. And then for food, so I'm not gonna be doing a Factor 75 meals, 
And I want to say last month I had spent almost $600 on food. So without me doing the Factor 75 meals, we'll see how I'm going to be able to do. So when I tally all of those up, and for this $2,827, when I was actually tallying up, this does include my HOA because I think that I forgot to put it in here. But when I was, you know, adding everything up, I went ahead and added it. So for the month of July, I'm really just going to try and save as much as I can. But it looks like I'm going to have about $628.43 left over. And then also, I really want to get the global entry or at least get it started so I'm going to have to make sure that I go ahead and do that. Coming over here to my debt, I have my mortgage and my student loans. So my mortgage is at $104,892 at a 3.62 interest rate with my monthly payment being $742.53. Right now, my student loans are at $54,646, but there's no interest. And we're going to have to see because September is around the corner. What is Biden going to do? Is he going to continue to extend the no student loan payment and the no interest? I definitely hope that he continues to have no interest. And I think for the month of July, I don't think I'm going to make a payment on my student loans, but we're going to have to see. Last, we're going to come over here to my credit cards. And although I have, what, nine personal credit cards right now, I only have balances on two of my credit cards because y'all know last month you have to check out my video where I was talking about how I was changing my strategy on my credit card utilization. So I had only left balances on three of my credit cards. Well, now I only have balances on two of my credit cards. And for the month of July, I might see about just having balance on one. But right now I have a balance on my Navy Federal Cash Rewards at $21.97 and my American Express Everyday Credit Card at $846.65 for my American Express Everyday Credit Card. I don't have an interest for 12 months and so that should be about December when that's over so I'm really happy about that but y'all know that I don't like to pay interest on my credit cards so I'm always doing a credit card utilization hack where I'll leave either two or seven percent on the credit card and then pay it off after the statement date so let me know in the comments how did your budget go what do you think I'm really excited on how things are going and we're just gonna have to keep pushing. Let me know in the comments, are you interested in doing a savings challenge? I'm really considering it, but let me know what you think. I hope that this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, or turn your notification bell on so you will be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game.